Hey everybody, David Corson. Hope everybody's having a great Saturday. Made my way down the park, sweating, got layered up here. It was raining this morning, cleared out a little bit. I think it might be raining again tonight. In any event, uh, I'm down here by uh, the Sugar Hill uh, gardening area. And I was down here a little bit ago, a couple of months back, before when it, once everybody had planted, but it looks like uh, things are growing here. Very, very uh, nice job to everybody that's uh, gardening and doing their gig and growing stuff to eat, maybe sell. It's just, uh, you know, all I got to say is hats off to all these people. They got everything growing nice and uh, we've had plenty of rain and things are looking healthy down here. And as I said before, more, sheep, more people should grow stuff. You know, I don't even care if, if you're living in an apartment, you believe it or not, you can grow stuff in your apartment. You just have to do it the correct way and learn. But uh, all in all, once again, I'm just giving you, you know, a bird's eye view of what's looking and just a really positive thing. People having fun with nature and growing stuff. And I bet you there's vegetables in here, fruits, salad, you know, all sorts of stuff. Tomatoes, strawberries, hot peppers. Uh, just a really, really cool. So good job to everybody. Kudos to everybody down here. I um, hope everybody's having a great Saturday. Uh, like I said, it was raining this morning and uh, just wanted to get this run in and get my sweat. And uh, going out to dinner, my son's in town. I leave going back to Charleston tomorrow. So I'm going to go out and have a uh, you know, good dinner. But I uh, hope you're having a great Saturday. Got a smile on your face. Relaxing. Having fun. Uh, boom shock lock at everybody out there and uh, going into your Saturday night gonna you know catch some good Z's relax and then Sunday and then before you know it's gonna be Monday morning time to get your game face on and uh, start the week out on a positive note and uh, kick tail before you know it'll be TGIF again when you when you're having fun time flies that's all I got to say but uh, you know looking at all these plants growing and you know people taking action and wanting to get stuff done i figured i'd uh you know do my positive feedback on you know growth you know every day i'm out here working on three things myself my happiness i'm smiling i'm gonna take my glasses off so you can see me and my money and uh the bottom line is you, know, I, you got to be consistent just like here they got to come in they got to keep the weeds out they got to put furl whatever they're using i doubt there's any fertilizer in here but uh, they got to make things get watered. Uh, here, this person has some cover on it because they don't want to get any rabbits in here. It eat your, eat your, even the deer probably can jump over these fence. You know, we got deer all over the place up here. Uh, but in any event, you know, people, people take a pride in stuff. So, like, I'm out here. I'm working on my all my three things, and I'm also uh, committed to do these videos every day for 365 days straight, so I can do my ebook. You know, maybe some other stuff with it. So my the digital marketer I am, I'm gonna bridge right into, you know, if you want to improve yourself, you got you gotta have a plan for life project management 101. Let me repeat that. You want to improve? Create your your life project management plan 101. And what that is is having a vision, have a plan, have a, having an action plan. Uh, having a way to uh, assess if you're improving or not. That's called a scoreboard. And scoreboards can come in every, any different way that you can imagine. And then consistency. You know, that's repetition. And rep with repetition, you got to make sure that you're doing it the right way. Because the definition of insanity, which I've told you multiple times, that's doing the same thing over and over again and basically having the same result. So you always want to tweak stuff, especially stuff that works. So you can, you know, improve just like out here. I'm trying to shave some time off my truck, you know, every day. I don't care if it's a second or two. That all adds up in the end. The sum is always greater than the whole. So once again, if you're going to improve out there, life project, life project management 101. All right. Create one for yourself. Put it down on paper. Put it on in a digital Excel file. Put it on wherever you need to do. So you have a plan, you know. And you have to be able to score yourself, you know, and you got to have a scoreboard and you got to see, you know, what measures that you can uh, look at 
from data point to data point, from the time you start till the time you finish, or during your journey, that you know that, hey, I've shaved a few percentage off the time. Hey, I got that RFP done quicker, but I, had, I added more value to it. I mean, all of these things. So if you don't, if you just go out and try to do it and wing it, you might succeed. I'm not gonna say that you're not. But if you have a, a, a total plan and a way that you can measure yourself and, and take action and then persistently do it, don't go a day. When the day that you won't wanna do something that you started is the day you really need to do it. You gotta finish what you start. And even if you don't like doing it, you gotta do it. Because you made a commitment to yourself. And that goes for anything, business, personal, athletics, that's life, okay? Finish what you start. But if you're gonna start something and you wanna prove yourself with life or whatever, you gotta do it with a plan. And I'm just telling you, hey, I'm in construction, so you know that's what my magazine talks about every day and everything's about project management. So I'm just saying, if you wanna prove your life, whether it's financially, happiness, you know, having kids, you know, whatever it might be, you gotta have, you gotta have, but you gotta be a project manager. You gotta manage it. And management has all sorts of those things. Having a vision, having a plan, having a way that you can assess it, being able to take inventory or taking, uh, you know, putting your times down and then having a finish point where you can look back and assess and, and kind of tweak. It's like looking at tape. You know, before you play your next uh, team, you know, how they play, what their weaknesses, what their strengths are, what their tendencies are, you know, all of those little things. All of those little things that you learn can be the difference of making a sale or not, or getting that person to go out on a date or not, or, you know, in, uh, in business, you know, getting that contract or not. So, you know, it, 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 it's, it, everything I'm telling you can be applied to anything that you're going to do in life. So once again, take a look at all these people out here. They had an action plan. They, they put it together. They bought the right vegetables that they wanted to grow. And uh, here are the fruits of their labor, no pun intended. But it's really, really exciting to see this because you know they're committed, they're coming down here. And uh, at the end of the season, when you see how built up this is, you know, at harvest time, it's gonna be awesome. So with that said, one more time. Life Project Management 101. You know, you want to improve? Get a plan. Stick to it. Trust the process. Finish. Assess. That's what you got to do. Uh, I know it's a long-winded one, but I really didn't know how to say it. But listen, everybody should have, everybody should have a plan, a life plan for themselves, how to improve themselves to uh, to get better. And uh, I'm just telling you, that's the way you should do it. Uh, maybe you have a better way to do it. Hey, hats off. Go for it. I'm just saying, you know, if you have a vision, you, you, want, you have a goal that you want to reach, create a plan, take action, look at your action, assess it, improve it, do it consistently day in and day out. And then when you finish and you go across the finish line or you get to the precipice of the summit, then you can, uh, then you can see how well you did or not. So I'm going to put my glasses back on here because I'm going to get back here running. But I just want to, I thought coming down here would be nice because I haven't been down here. I mean, I drive by it all the time, but it's, it's like, I, I like being able to get in here, especially when no one's in here, I can just talk to you. Once again, look at all these people's efforts. I mean, this is very, 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 very positive. It's awesome. I mean, uh, like I said, hats off to these people. So with that said, everybody have a great Saturday, rest of your Saturday, Saturday night. Get some great REM sleep, relax, Sunday, have more fun. Hopefully the weather will be nice for you. And, uh, you know, and before you know it, it's going to be Monday morning. And when you know what you need to do on Monday morning, got to get up early. Got to make your bed. Got to put a smile on your face. Got to give yourself a boom shakalaka. Have a nice breakfast. Put some protein in you. And then go through your day. And if, you, if, you're, if you're feeling down or you're just dragging or whatever, give yourself a boom shakalaka. You know, if you have to drink a cup of coffee or whatever, go for it. But just stay positive. Don't let anything get you negative. Throw those negative thoughts out. I don't have room for them. Okay? So put that little thought one more time. Life Project Management 101. It, it could take you to where you never thought you could be. I always think big. Think big. You never know what's going to happen. So uh, take one that to the bank. Life Project, Project Management 101. Vision. Plan. Action. Assess. Tweak repeat, finish, all those things with a smile on your face. Think of positive, no negative thoughts allowed. All right, 
Put that in your, put that in your mindset. And uh, you'll see a difference. People see the difference in you. And you're going to like the difference in you. So, as always, I appreciate you. All of you out there on the web finding me. And give me a couple likes here and there. And, and some comments. And uh, uh, I will see you tomorrow. I think I'm going down to the dam tomorrow. After my son leaves, I'll uh, go down and uh, do this check. There's this one trail I haven't been on yet, so it's uh, good to check new things out. Plus, all the leaves down there. It's beautiful down there by the lake on all these trails. So with that said, everybody have a great Saturday night. I will see you tomorrow. And uh, once again, I appreciate you all. So with that said, cheers, ciao, and I'll see you tomorrow. Dave, of course, is signing off from the Garden, from the garden Center at uh, Sugar Hill. Cheers, everybody.